uh, a couple things. Um, the, the policy was sold to us at the time as a vehicle to um, deal with the foreclosure crisis. Uh, there was a lot of emphasis in the document supporting the model um, relating to foreclosed properties. But it looks as though you're investing in properties that were not foreclosed. Can we figure out why? Why the emphasis was so much on foreclosure 18 months ago when we approved it, and today I'm looking at these properties, it doesn't look apparently that they were foreclosures. One was. One was, okay. The one in, in District 3. The market, quite simply, the market changed. And the properties that we thought, I remember at the time that I interviewed for the job out here in the summer of 2008, there, the foreclosure issue was uh, in, uh, epidemic here then. I think that what happened over the following approximately year thereafter is that the, uh, there was a greater incidence of speculators moving into the market. And a lot of the properties were just simply not available to us. Okay. When we began looking, and we decided also to go toward a partnership approach and leverage our money. All right, and um, that's where I'm going. My my next question: When this was presented to us, I thought we were buying individual small properties, and and maybe that was just what was in my head. 